dirty. You know, and, uh, what's the difference, in your opinion, between house and club? Or is there a difference? Okay. I don't know, Rob. I don't know, Greg. And I've been there, so I'll show you what I do. That's a real question. Club music is. Everything has a. Uh, I that's this so one. Down for it. Okay, okay, good. They were still around. I figured they they just been So they said they So you can kind of find what other DJs are doing. Every jump in the music space. So we're just getting loose right now. Okay, let me do it. And uh, the music to me is not really underground. It's really the promotion side of it. It's what you see. It's what you. When, when you see, when you go on MTV and you see real world, they're going out to party, they're going to a club. And you're going to hear club music. And that's exactly what you hear. It, it's, it's people who make music specifically to That's what you think about it. You take out the music for the club. You take out the music for a regular party. You take it to a wedding. You take it to you don't, you don't play club music in the way. You don't play club music in the backyard of somebody's house. You don't do that. Club music is specifically for the flashy, the let's make a quick song and we'll get out of here. I can do this. We're running for and, and, and the song will be good for to the next big hit. House music is not like that. I can still give it right now with a song from 1985. Happy days. Yeah, the club is big. It's, 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 it's like, okay, it's good for now. You get tired. Right. You don't want to hear it. That's the difference. Uh, and that's part of the business aspect of what club music don't go as far as it should sometimes, too. Because once the song gets more out there, everybody playing it, it's going to take a long time for that record to come back. It's like with disco, in fact. When disco, when everybody was running around throwing their disco records at the baseball field, and they disco thought disco was dead. Yeah. In Chicago, disco never died. Me? It never died, because we were still partying on disco records. Oh, you see what I'm saying? So, and disco was still man prevalent in these clubs in Chicago, as it did then, as now. But, a lot of people, you got a, you got a, you got a, 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 a barrel full of crab DJs. Everybody in the barrel is DJ in Chicago. Everybody's a DJ. Okay, and they don't really support the music. They don't challenge themselves enough to, you know what I'm saying, to really get out here because Gene Hunt got a name or some somebody got a name. You know, they don't they don't make a difference. So they gonna go look at another DJ and they gonna think I'm better than that DJ. Ooh, you know, and, and that's cool. That's cool. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time, if you can't get 50 people to come to an event or a party, just 50. Something wrong with your camp, you know what I mean? So, you, 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 you playing the same records these other cats are playing, everybody playing the same records, basically. And, and it's it's and <laughs> always look to make the next record that's so effective that when you walk out the club, you're like, man, I'm, I'm going home and look for this record. As a DJ or just a con con connoisseur of music. 